Hey guys, it's Kaler. Welcome to the YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to create hand lettering in Adobe Illustrator with a tablet. So the first thing you need is two brushes that we're going to be creating. One is going to produce a thin hand lettering like this, and the other one's going to be much thicker like so. We're going to be using pressure with our uh, tablet so that we can get nice thin and thick line transitions. So let's create our brushes. So if you don't have the brush panel open already, select window and make sure brushes is checked. Mine's over here and I'm going to press this icon for a new brush, calligraphic brush, and press OK. I'm going to name this one Thin, and the important thing here is to note the size. I'm just going to leave it at 9 points, and I'm going to change the fixed drop down to Pressure. This is going to recognize our pin pressure, and the variation is going to be how different the thin strokes are from the thick strokes. So right now they're even, and that's because it's at 0. Let's change that to 4, and you'll notice that it changes up here as well. Press OK, and that's our thin brush. Now let's do the same process and create a thick brush. I'm just gonna name this one thick. And for the size, let's increase it to 18. Change the fixed to pressure once again, and the variation to four. Very similar brush, just a lot thicker. And press OK when you're done. A quick note, so you guys don't have to ask me in the comments, when you paint, in uh, Illustrator, you'll notice when you release the stroke, so when you let off of your brush, or I'm using the trackpad right now on my Mac, if I release, you'll notice that it curves. And the reason it does this is double click on your brush icon, and this slider right here is telling how smooth you want the line to be. So if you turn this all the way up and press OK, when you do a brush, it's gonna smooth way more. So just for this tutorial, make sure you have this slider adjusted to the center, and press OK. Now I'm over at my Cintiq and I'm just starting to draw and I'm treating my tablet just like I would paper and a brush pen, making sure my downstrokes are thick and then as I get to the bottom I kind of start to lighten up my, uh, my pressure to create a nice clean upstroke. What I realized uh, about Illustrator is I've used this method before but I've never actually done it for like a speed art or a client. And what I've realized is that the smoothing effect uh, because I'm using a brush really helps with the clean line. It's almost better than what I could do with a pen tool in the same amount of time. Like there's no way I could do this with a pen tool in the same amount of time it took me to draw that. And that's one of the reasons why I think this method is so effective. So once you're done with your word and you're happy with the hand lettering, if you zoom in somewhere on it, if you have two paths overlapping, no matter if it's a stroke or if it's a just a regular filled in object, you're probably gonna get some kind of clipping like this. And it's actually connected. The computer is just having like a spasm because it does not like that. And that'll get fixed when we make this vector. So right now it's just a stroke. So if we select all this and I'm gonna hit Command G just to group it so I can just click on it and grab all of them. If we scale this up really far, you'll notice that the line gets really thin. And the reason for that is because it's not truly vector. It's scalable, but it doesn't stay the way we want it. So to fix this, just highlight the word, go to Object, Expand Appearances. We still have our clipping problem, but now that if we scale it, I'm gonna hold Shift and Alt, you'll notice that everything stays the same. To fix the clipping problem, once you're done with all the adjustments to the word, Make sure you have Pathfinder open. If you don't, click Window and make sure Pathfinder is checked. Under Shape Modes, click Unite, which is this button here. And it fixes everything and connects all of our strokes together. So now this word is done. Let's move on to our thicker brush and create this one here. Okay, so one thing I wanna mention is if you're unhappy with the size variation between the thin and thick lines, like this one almost looks mono line compared to my original uh, design here. All you gotta do is select the brush and double click it. And you can just change the variation even higher. So I'm gonna change this one way up, probably all the way to so 18 and press okay. Because I'm assuming this brush is gonna be exactly like this one over here and it's not gonna show a lot of variation. So let's start working on this word and that should help. While I'm sketching, I want to mention that this is going to be so effective when you do longer words. That saves you all the sketching time of that. And if you can get really good at this, at the end, after you expand the appearance, all you got to do is use the anchor point tool like you normally would and just adjust the word to make sure all your thicknesses is good. 
and it's the same outcome as if I were to sketch it on paper and take it into Illustrator and use the pen tool. All right, so now that I'm done with this word, I'm just gonna scale it down so we can see it a little bit better. It's hanging off our canvas, there we go. I just decided to add a little underline here just because there's a little flourish to add. And let's say I'm happy with this and just like we did with the other word, I'm gonna highlight the entire thing, go up here and click Object, Expand Appearances, and then go to Shape Modes under Pathfinder and click Unite. So there's our word and if we decide to scale it way up, You'll see it stays exactly the same so it is vector that's going to do it for the tutorial guys i hope you guys learned something today if you have anything to add make sure you put it in the comments down below if you want to see more tutorials from me make sure you give this video a thumbs up i hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you guys in the next one hey guys it's kaler thanks for watching the video click here to subscribe to my channel for new videos every tuesday thursday and saturday if you want to see this channel grow even more, don't forget to share this video. You can click the share button down below. Over here is YouTube's recommendation just for you, so go check out that video and let me know what you think in the comments. Up here is my newest video, and if you haven't seen it already, go give it a thumbs up. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.